To celebrate the Day of the African Child, 30 students from schools across Juba in South Sudan took control of the UN mission in South Sudan's Radio Mariah. The students aged between 15 and 18 years hosted the radio's primetime shows such as the Morning Breakfast Show and the Drive Time. They read the news in English and Arabic and were trained in photography and videography. Radio Mariah broadcasts can be listened to across three quarters of South Sudan. The students shared their views on the challenges faced by children in South Sudan, steps which can be taken to eliminate their plight and the need to ensure that the rights of children are realized. Maha Ibrahim Akasha, 15 years, said she enjoyed spending the day at the radio station and loved the pace that journalists work in. I used to uh, feel like being a doctor, but from the time I entered Miraya, it's really like very great pressure to me to be a journalist and to work very busy coming. It's very nice to go, to come, to be on air, to be the master of the show, very nice. <laughs> Maha urged all children in Africa to work hard to realize their dreams and not to give up. Feel it, it's your day. It's the only day it's given to us in our year once to be ours only. You feel it, you enjoy it, you have to say I'm here. You have to, even if you have a talent, don't actually hide it. Put it in a table so that people work on it to bring the best out of it, enjoy, uh, actually work on yourselves, achieve your dreams, don't give up. The children were graced by the SRSG for Unmiss, David Shira, who had a one-on-one -on -one live interview with Aya Dominique, who is a student at the Lighthouse Secondary School. He told the children that the United Nations was there for them. But we are here every day for you, uh, not, just, not just one day. Ayat Sandra Dominique had the special privilege to conduct a one-on-one -on -one interview with Mr. Shira on the rights of children in South Sudan and the mandate of UNMIS on the protection of children. Ayat said that she was honored to be the one to conduct the interview. She wanted to say this to her fellow South Sudanese peers. They need to know that education is the only key to success. Education will make them to build their nation and stop all the violence and the corruption that takes place now, and we hope may end as soon as possible. The children all had a good time and said they are looking forward to celebrating the Day of the African Child next year. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Radio Miraya. I am Maha Ibrahim Akasha. This is the headlines.